Alright guys, so I just came back from the gym not too long ago and one thing that I do notice from taking C4 is that my focus while I was working out was definitely on point. <laughs> so I had to burp from that whole sentence. <laughs> So welcome to the review. I just took one scoop of this C4 pre-workout. Let me tell you guys, I feel on top of the world. Keep in mind, I also had a full eight hours of sleep last night and it is the morning and I'm about to go kill this overhead press workout. I really do feel super energetic and I also feel very optimistic about my lifts, if that makes sense. Like right now, I feel super confident in the lifts that I'm about to perform. Maybe it's a combination of both, having good sleep and the pre-workout combined together that makes it work even better. So I took this C4 pre-workout just like any other pre-workout, recommended 20 to 30 minutes before your actual workout just to get it digested in the system so the caffeine and all the pre-workout contents can get in my mind and get me pre-workout ready or ready for the workout, pre-ready for the workout. Anyways, so let's just dive into what the actual ingredients are inside of this thingamajig. The contents is on the screen right now, but I'm just gonna go more into depth about the whole beta alanine, creatine, the alpha ketoglutarate, and the caffeine content in this thing. I know based on experience for beta alanine, a lot of people say that 1.5 grams is for the intermediate, but guys who take a lot of pre-workout or take a lot of beta alanine in general, probably three grams of beta alanine would be more recommended for them just so that their body could get the effects. Because there is kind of like a tingling effect that your body gets used to as far as beta alanine goes. Yeah, if you were to take one scoop of this and you feel the tingles, that is because of the beta alanine. If you do take one scoop of this and you do not feel the tingles, that is because your body's probably already adapted to the tingly effect from other pre-workouts and their contents of beta alanine within that product. I, t I, I hope that made sense. This has a good amount of beta alanine for those who are just starting to take pre-workout or even if you are a, a year-long pre-workout taker, you could even take two scoops of this. It's cool. It's fine. You're not gonna die. Unless you have heart problems, then try not to take too much because too much caffeine is very bad for your heart. I gotta stop moving this around. Is this distracting? Creatine nitrate in here is one gram per scoop. I did a little research on the whole nitrate creatine thing online on my iPhone for like two minutes and it talks about how creatine nitrate is a super condensed form of creatine. And it also, it also acts like a pump agent and a slight diuretic. So it actually helps you to look more ripped during the workout, which is pretty great. I'm sure it does a lot for you mentally, you know what I mean? Like if you're working out and then you feel more ripped, you actually get a better workout and a better state of mind to kill more weights when you feel like you look good while you're working out. I'm sure you guys experienced that before. Recommended dosage for beginners is 0.5 grams. And keep in mind that this has twice that, which is one full gram of creatine nitrates. So that's pretty great considering that creatine nitrate is a potent form of creatine or nitrates. I don't know, I don't have much experience on creatine nitrate. If you guys do have more knowledge on that, be sure to comment down below, shed some light on the topic. Arginine alpha ketoglutarate, and that is also a pump agent. We all know that that's where the nitric oxide comes from. And one gram is pretty, pretty suffice. A lot of other products that I used to take, I would go as high as three grams. It all depends on the individual. Experiment for you guys, see if that's enough for you to take. Now with every single pre-workout, the main thing is the main thing, which is the caffeine. Honestly, caffeine is the main ingredient in all pre-workouts. Whether a pre-workout is strong or powerful is because of the caffeine content. If people say that, man, that pre-workout really kicked me in the balls and I'm super awake, it is because of the caffeine. It's not because of the arginine, it's not because of the creatine, it's because of the caffeine. Caffeine is the only stimulant in pre-workouts that affects the mindset. So if you have one pre-workout here that is super powerful, aka high caffeine, and then you have a pre-workout here that is not as high caffeine, you could just take two scoops of this to equal one scoop of this, high powerful one. One scoop of this has 150 milligrams. And that one scoop is seriously enough for me personally, especially because I had a full eight hours of sleep, so I feel well rested. Plus the caffeine from this is really, it, it's, it's getting me amped up. Like I'm ready to kill this gym session. Keep in mind if one scoop is not enough for you, you didn't have good enough sleep, or you feel like you're just tired from work all day, Take two scoops, but don't take it too late in the day because you don't want to end up staying awake all night. And is two scoops safe? Yeah, sure, it's safe. You're not gonna die. Two scoops is 
Two scoops is 300 milligrams of caffeine. That's equal to approximately three cups of coffee or so, depends on the potency of the coffee. And there's a lot of other pre-workouts that has around 300 milligrams of caffeine anyway. So if you're gonna take two scoops, make sure you just limit it to just two scoops in that one day. But if you're gonna have two workout sessions, yeah, sure, it, it's fine. You're not gonna die, guys, if you take one scoop in the morning and then take one scoop later in the evening for that second workout. But just a disclaimer, if you do have some heart issues, do not take too much caffeine in general because that's bad for your heart. Um, am I required to say that I am not a healthcare provider or a licensed healthcare person and any information I'm giving is just my opinion and I'm not a professional? I should say that right now as a disclaimer, right? Okay, cool. I just said it. I don't want to be liable for anything that's going to happen when you guys abuse this thing. And also that this is just for entertainment purposes only. Well, I should get into the mixability of how C4 is. So here's a cup of water and here's C4 and I'm about to put a scoop of this in here. Let's see how mixable it is. Just snorted some of that. Here's some water. It's around a little above eight ounces. Got a scoop. Of course, if you shake it, it's gonna mix a lot better. But yeah, no clumps, guys, which is awesome. It's not like a BCAA supplement where when you try to mix BCAAs, it's very clumpy and powdery. But this mixes very well, as you can see. It looks like an actual wild berry fruit punch, which is what the flavor says it is. Actually, it's not wild berry fruit punch, it's just wild fruit punch. Mixability is great, especially because I could just do it with a spoon and there's no clumps afterwards. Now, here's the taste test. Hmm. It's good. It almost reminds me of like Hawaiian punch, if you guys ever had that drink before. But it is good, it's tasty, it's sweet, um, almost tastes like a popsicle. And I like it. It makes me feel like a kid inside. I already took a serving of this, so I'm not gonna drink this now and just start jumping off the walls and turn super sane. I'm gonna put this on the side and save it for my evening workout if I do work out later tonight. Cardio or something. Mixability is great. And yeah. I'll see you guys in a few moments for when I do come back to the gym and I'll tell you how my workout was. All right, cool. See you in a few. So I just came home from the workout and I took a nap and now I feel pretty more rejuvenated than normal again. And the workout was great. So with my whole C4 experience, I would say that this product really did help me to stay focused. The thing that I like about it is that it's only 150 milligrams of caffeine. It's a perfect amount to give you the type of energy that you want just to wake up give you positive mood and keep you focused throughout your whole workout. Keep in mind my workout was 45 minutes. It wasn't like a three hour workout. If it was a three hour workout, probably I would take another scoop mid workout just to keep me going. And also your carbs too guys. Make sure you take some carbs, eat a power bar or something. So taking this product, I did not get the jitters. There is some pre-workouts where it is a higher caffeine content where you're gonna get your balls kicked. You're gonna be like hopping off the walls, super amped and ready to just ready to just rage, you know what I'm saying? One scoop did not do that for me. If I wanted that feeling where I'm gonna get all cocaine ninja on people, then I'd probably take two scoops or something. But for me, one scoop kept me calm, composed, focused. The pump was there, I felt great. And again, I did overhead presses, so yeah. Probably the pump wore off, I'm not too sure, but I enjoyed the product. Top of all of that, guys, C4 tastes delicious. This is the Wild Fruit Blast flavor, AKA Fruit Punch. I feel like that's probably the same thing. Um, I know they had a blue raspberry flavor too. That's super good. I like that one a lot. And also just a heads up guys, this is what it looks like inside. See all the fumes coming out of there, ooh. And mixability wise, you already seen a mixability earlier. It's not clumpy either in the container at all. Uh, but yeah, that's my review guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, give it a shot, try out the product, try out C4. I am not endorsed with them yet. C4 from Cellucor, good stuff. Try it out, let me know what you think. Have you tried it already? If so, comment down below. If you'd like to try it, comment down below. If you hate this video, comment down below. Um, but if you did like this video, if you wanna see more reviews, if you wanna see more random videos, be sure to like this video <laughs> and comment down below and also subscribe to this channel, guys, because I'll be shooting random videos at you every now and then, weekly, weekly. Yeah. As always, guys, thank you so much for your time. I hope I see you guys in the next one. God bless and have the best day ever. <sighs> so today we're going to do a review on the most popular. So today we're going to do a remote. So today we're going to do a review. So today. 
So today we're gonna do. So today we're gonna do the most. So today we're. So today we're gonna. Fuck. So today we're gonna do a review. So today, guys. All right. So today we're gonna do a review on the most popular pre-workouts on the market today, and obviously you know what it is. My dick. All right, guys. 